Well, today is another day of salt fly fishing. I'm on the Waitamata Harbour today. I'm going to start off with checking out some flats for kings. Then we're going to look for some kawai or maybe some shallow snapper. So let's see what we can find. So all I'm doing is cruising the flats with my electric trawling motor and looking. I'm just looking for uh, any sign of kingfish. So I gave it about an hour or so just cruising the flats. I really didn't see any activity, no bait fish splashes, no wakes, no nothing. I have limited time today, so I'm just gonna go and try something different. I'm uh, gonna cruise and explore some local spots. Got some turns diving here. A uh, bit of a reef spot here. Often Kawai will hang out around this reef, so I'm gonna give it a go. Let's hope this is Kawai. There's a big reef here, so I gotta work my way. Around this reef. Yep, I had to take Uh, obviously pushing the bait fish right up onto the reef. I might have to go with the anchovy pattern. I usually do well on. I had one take. I'm going to go onto the reef very shortly. Yep, got him. So I've got to move. Yes. Okay. I've got to move now, though. Onto that reef, I'll let him run. Let him run so I can get away. Really get myself away from this reef. Ah, game off was fighting around with the underwater GoPro. Okay, so there's a really shallow reef here. With this car while I'm pushing the bait fish up against. Uh, you can see them splashing back there. Just need to get over this reef. Okay, there's some splashing. It's a good cast. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. And shall we back and does it? Feel nice and strong. Splashing it. Oh, splashing here right by me. Nice, Kawai on board, awesome. Get this one away. Okay, we were just boiling up here just now, so turns are diving there. All right, we're in reach now. Yep, yep, oh, yep, have I got him? Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Yes, this is a small one, I think. Oh, will he just wake up? No, he's just going to wake up now. Okay, a big fairy wake doesn't come. He's on. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 
big one. Awesome. Oh, what a nice fish. Very cool. Very nice to have another car wire on board. Awesome. One tip I want to give you is before you start chasing a car wire school after catching a fish, make sure you just cast out your line and get it ready to the length you're planning to cast. Yeah, they're busting up again. And then just strip it in so it's nice and ready for when you get there so you don't miss your opportunity because you aren't ready to cast as soon as you get there. This is what happens when the uh, ferry wakes go over the reef. It's pretty nasty if you get bought on that reef but when that, that happens. Yeah. Okay, it's splashing here on the edge of the reef. Oh yep, hooked up. Awesome. Very cool. So I got it into the right spot. And I have to turn the motor on. They come in easy and then they wake up as soon as they get to the boat. Nice, it was nicely hooked in the corner of the mouth. Very cool, another car wire. Fantastic day. Okay. Saw some turns already getting to the car wire up here already. Oh yep, there we go. Ah oh, came off and that busted me on the strip. Ah, that's my fly, my anchovy pattern. I knew I should have tied more, but anyway, I've got an alternative pattern on now. See if that works. Okay, just gonna leave the motor on. Hopefully I'll hook up. And then I'm gonna have to avoid this reef. Yep, hooked up. Okay, let's try to avoid this reef. Get this on the reel. Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Busting up right next to me here. I'm gonna keep this out of the out of the reef. Those fish are just sitting on the edge of that reef and then just absolutely nailing the bait that's coming across that of that current. And it's good to have the alternative pattern work as well. So a nice strong car wire. Nicely corner hooked again. Nice big one, very cool. Really nice car wire. Okay, well they're still going. I anchored and put the drone up a bit just to get uh, some cool footage. I hope it worked. And we'll see if we can pick up some more. They're still splashing and going mad here, so hopefully we'll pick up a few more. And that is a rock. That is a problem. Well, I completely messed that up. I got my fly stuck on a rock and I managed to lose that fly. I don't really have a replacement, but I found a little light, smaller beat. But I found a smaller uh, anchovy pattern that I can replace it with. So hopefully that succeeds. In the meantime, the fish have kind of disappeared while I was retying. So, Let's see what happens. No more splashes. But there's still fish. I got that one. Look at that one. Oh, another take. Yes, have I got him? Yes, I got him, got him, got him, got him. 
<laughs> They're still here though. Man, I'm gonna move. Oh, gotta move. Okay. Current is howling out. Doesn't look like it's a big one. Very cool. There you go. Awesome. Very cool. Another car way. Very, very nice. There we go. Let's get him back. Man, it's very, very cool. Very, very cool. Well, in for another go. It's essentially hook up and run. Once you get, once I drift close, in close enough, if I hook one up in close, then it's just I have to run and get out of the out of the reef. But this there, oh, there we go. Straight in, straight in. <laughs> Look at this crazy, crazy good fishing. Oh my goodness. Straight into another one. <laughs> oh great is that. That's just fantastic. I'm going to hit that rock. Oh, I hit that one. No awesome. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was a bit of an interesting rock issue. Good in. Nice. Well, I think this one is going to be another one for dinner. But a really nice fish, so very cool. Bit of blood there, so he's going to go home. But a really nice car wire. Drift from here and see what happens. the splashes and stuff it seems the activity quietens down a bit and then oh, but they're, they're just here they're, they're everywhere there's another one basically first cast in this area another fish it's amazing if I can get this one in before I drift onto a reef or a rock would be handy oh, what a cool fish Kawai are uh, just Awesome fish. I've got another rock coming up here. I have to drive out. And you can you can tackle these with much lighter gear as well if you wanted to. <laughs> yes, finally a good ninja. There we go. Nice car away. Very cool little one. There we go. Oh. So I've been fishing with the 10 weight Predator and the Shield Reel just because my sinking line is on this and it's what I wanted to use so 10 weight is heavier than necessary for this you could get away with a 5 or a 6 or as some of the Tauranga guys do a 3 weight or the Kawai but I just like the fact that the shooting head sinks really quick just gets me under the surface can strip it back quickly and it works for me so I enjoy using that um, but yeah on lighter gear it would probably be a bit more exciting you get a real fight out of them on a five weight or a three weight it's also been handy to have the ten weight because I can muscle them in uh, and control them when I'm close to that reef and drifting over it so been a bit of a worry so I should be starting to drift into the area I drove a bit further out than before I'm not quite in the right area I don't think actually
No, not at all. Oh, oh, okay, I was going to say I'm not in the right area, but that, that's one there. Just as I was about to, uh, to move, that's quite funny. I just took it right as I was shipping it in by the boat. Very cool. <laughs> There's a lot of them around. Move into a decent position. Awesome. And another lovely fish. Here we go. Well, even though I can go on all day catching more kawai, I think I'm going to call it a day there. Kawai are such an underrated fish. I really hope you enjoy that action today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.